So please help me in welcoming Denise Lee Yan. All right, we're here to talk about brands. So I actually want you to talk first. I want you to share with me what is your favorite brand and why? Just a brief sentence. Um, and this is a judgment-free zone, so feel free to share personally. What's your favorite brand? Any volunteers? Anyone want to chime in? I'm sorry. Nordstrom's. Nordstrom's. Why Nordstrom's? Someone else? Yes. REI. REI. Yeah, I love them too. What about REI? Yeah. How about one more? Anybody? Oh. Okay. Well, I'll actually do two. So Wegmans. Who said Wegmans? Yes. What about Wegmans? And you, you? Costco. Costco. Great. Okay. What about Costco? Yeah, I love all the sampling stations. I, I know people, and, and you know, maybe you're one of these folks that actually goes to lunch at Costco, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so we've been talking about brands, and um, notice how no one talked about how great the company's logo is, or their advertising, or, or you know, their image. Those things, logos, image, advertising, are branding. And if you will bear with me for a moment, I have to kind of go off on this topic of branding, because if you think about where the word came from, it's, it's kind of problematic, okay? Because branding originated when people had cattle and ranches, um, and you know they needed to make sure that people weren't going to steal their cows, right? So they would practically torture these poor cows, you know, take this sharp, pointy iron, stick it into these burning coals, and then sear their mark on the cow, just so that if someone found it, they would know who it belonged to. That's what branding means. And it's insane to think that branding works as a business concept today. So we're not going to be talking about branding, as in putting your mark on something to show that you own it. We're going to be talking about brand building, as in developing a powerful instrument of value creation for your organization. Your brand is what you do and how you do it. Now, uh, in business school, they'll tell you that like probably the technical definition is that it was something like your brand is the bundle of values and attributes that define the value delivered to customers and the way you do business. Basically, that's saying that your brand is what you do and how you do it. So your brand should drive, align, and guide everything that you do as an organization. And when you use your brand in this way, it has so much power because everyone who's working on your brand knows how to support it, how to grow it, knows what to do, what not to do, because you all share one common understanding of the role that you're, meant, you're playing in the world and the way you're meant to play it. It makes it ruthlessly clear how to spend your resources so you don't waste your time, money, and energy on things that aren't right for you and your future.